Hi beautiful souls, this is Lenny from Lenny's Brilliant Sparkling Light and this reading is for November 23rd, 2020. Today I'm using the Oracle cards from Denise Lynn, The Sacred Traveler, Scott Alexander King, Animal Dreaming Oracle, and The Samadhi Oracle by Jess and Sahil Permiswar. So I asked Spirit about what guidance should we would be most beneficial for now and in the future um, as we move into Thanksgiving week, um, as we're looking at what we appreciate and what we are grateful for. Um, we count our blessings and we want to move into a more positive mindset. So, oh my gosh, the perfect cards came forward from Denise Lynn's Sacred Traveler Oracle we got the Cleansing Waters card purification activates vibrant life force so this card is asking us to um, look at our life and see how we can um, release that which no longer serves us what we don't need um, in the mental realm, the physical realm, it could be clutter clearing. It can also be taking stock of our old um, limiting thoughts and beliefs. It's um, a card which asks us to use water to cleanse and to help with our intention. Um, salt baths or washing your hands, sitting by the water, putting your feet in the water, drinking more water where it's a whole um, level of clearing and cleansing to get ready for um, a new beginning. So, um, and I'm going to read you just a little bit from the guidebook itself. Um, clear out clutter. In order to release old beliefs, stagnant energies, and arc grunge that you may have picked up, it's necessary to cleanse and purify yourself in your home. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused. Eat lightly. Drink fresh water. Simplify your life. Shower or bathe with the intention that all is not needed is washing away. Mm, isn't that great guidance? So when you purify yourself, you become a clear channel for light and thus, and thus know what direction is best for your life. Also, your sparkling light can help heal and support many. And um, I don't know, that message seems especially um, for me because my business is Lenny's Brilliant Sparkling Light. So I'm definitely going to take this guidance to heart. Um, so I invite you to just try on uh, the guidance for the week, see if it speaks to you, you know, for a day or for the week ahead. But let's move next to our card from Animal Dreaming, Scott Alexander King. It's 27, the magpie, and it's about balance. And isn't it perfect? It's, it's actually balancing. Um, it's a water card as well. The element is water. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. One second, I'm going to grab a little more guidance from the book. It's also um, about letting go of what no longer um, serves you. Let's see. I'm going to come a little closer so you can see this beautiful card maybe better. Isn't that gorgeous? A little guidance from the guidebook today. If magpie has swooped into your cards today, you're being guided to a place of awareness. You're being shown how to better understand the innate marriage between opposites that are equal and the dual duality within all things. You're being primed for a deepening of purpose and broadening of perspective. And isn't that always beneficial to change our perspective if we want to have a different experience? Magpie's arrival heralds an oblig obligatory <laughs> confrontation of fears the reshuffling of thoughts, review of values, and loosening up of everything that has offered sustenance and strength up till now. So it wants us to step back and look at, you know, are we buying into fears that we, um, that aren't serving us? 
that are um, disempowering, that are taking us out of our core, that are not the truth of who we are. And here from the book, it says it means being ready to walk a path of the heart, to find a place of inner freedom. Yes, to tap into who we truly are, divine beings having a human experience, a quest for a better understanding of the poise that resides within you and everything of nature. And as we talked about before, um, we are an expression of nature. And um, the magpie helps bring balance between what we see as light and dark and good and bad and positive and negative and masculine and feminine. So, oh boy, that's such a beautiful card. And so the next card I'm going to move to is uh, Shiva Lignum from the Samadhi Oracle. And this is an amazing card as well. All these cards are talking about um, clearing, purification, clearing impurities. The Shiva Lignum speaks about free yourself from all impurities, dear one. Strive to remove that which taints your mind, body, speech, and actions by purging this negativity from your life. I don't know about you, but that definitely speaks to me. Your thoughts will become purer and your spirit will be much more receptive to the divine, sweet, melodious call. So if you want a little assistance doing this, you can recite this auspicious mantra to feel Lord Shiva's transformational power vibrating within your being. And the chant is... Om Nama Shivaya. Om Nama Shivaya. And I think you can even find um, maybe Krishna Das or someone singing that chant if you'd like to tap into the melodic, um, beautiful sounding chant. I'm sorry I can't really do it for you. And then lastly, I thought I would pull us a mudra card and, you know, I want to say, isn't it surprising, but it's not, right? The flow, the Jal Mudra came forward. Being in the flow, it actually has to do with balancing um, the water element in your body. Um, and it also, when you do the Mudra, you put your thumb and your uh, little finger, form a circle, and the rest of your fingers, um, you straighten them as best you can with the palms up. And it can calm like a restless mind, and which is right in alignment with all the other cards about let, looking at and letting go of fears and limiting beliefs that no longer serve us. It also can relax tense muscles. Um, let me see if I can get to that page quick enough to give you some a little bit extra guidance from the book, but if not, that's okay. <laughs> uh, just laughing at myself because I'm not used to doing videos this way, so I hope it's not too wobbly, but I really wanted to give us a reading for the week ahead. So here's the guide, guidance from the Jal Mudra. Dear one, free yourself of the attachments that stagnate you and aim your intention toward the divine. You will surely become in sync with the cosmic order and flow, and you will begin to see so much more of the miraculous nature of spirit within you and all around you. So you can practice the Jal Mudra to calm a restless mind and relax tense muscles. Amongst other benefits, this mudra also alleviates cramps and dehydration as it restores balance to the water element in the body. Yeah, so this is, you know, water has to do with emotions, um, water is purifying. Um, Denise Lynn's the Sacred Traveler card. The woman is just laying in that beautiful pond. Water can be relaxing and refreshing and rejuvenating. So um, see what part of this message speaks to you the most. Or, you know, if all of it does, that's great too. You can practice doing this mudra when you start to feel tense or your mind is racing. You can remind yourself um, if you want to tap back into your power and release your fears into the Shiva Lignum, um, the, the little chant to Lord Shiva. And, um, you know, don't forget what I always say is breathe. <laughs> Take a nice, slow, deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth as you ground and center 
and just tap back into the truth of who you are. So I think that's about it for this reading. And um, as always, you can like and share and comment. If you'd like me to pick you a personal card, you know, just let me know. And as always, lots of love till next time. Ciao.